Couple months back, we met up with comedian and overall awesome person Jay Giles. I miss you. Question for you: Who do you think is the most underrated comedian right now? Underrated? I don't know. Um, Bill Cosby, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't see him performing that yeah, much anymore. I mean, he was no. doing okay for a minute, and then just. And I don't know what happened. Off. Cool ass dude. And on that episode, we weren't laughing. We were eating food from Big and Littles. This is the barbecue. Pork belly from Big and Littles. Oh my God. And in that short time go, between us doing that episode and now, they opened up another business, another restaurant called Pizza Dude, and Poke. They're killing it. We gotta hang out with Big and Little. Oh, I got a fucking joke about that. About what? Dude, when I was growing up, we were so poor, my great grandma couldn't even afford a wheelchair. We just stuck tennis balls to the bottom of her walk and had her slide around like she was pushing a grocery cart. <laughs> Isn't that pretty good? <laughs> Everybody will get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no one's ever got a joke it. on yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm like, all oh, the tennis balls, I can see that shit. So today, we're gonna eat half of the stuff there, which is the pizza portion. Hoping in the future we can link up with them and eat some poke with maybe them on camera. This is a first for us, so come check it out. Pizza and poke. Let's do this. Poke pepperoni pizza acquired. I'm so excited! Jump cut. Nighttime pizza. Nighttime pizza. I hope this is good. The very best time to oh, eat pizza. To do that sauce. It's the nighttime. Oh, the spicy stuff. Damn it! You want me just to drive up there? Yeah. You know what? Yeah. All that right. sauce, spicy seasoning, looked damn good. I tried driving with this on there before, and it ain't gonna work. Oh, you gotta turn the car on first. Duh. Dude, look at this, how cool this bag is. It comes in a piping hot bag. Dude, the Big and Littles guys are entrepreneur geniuses. They know Straight what they're doing. They know how to make great food and market the shit out of themselves. Yeah, dude. Just great branding. You guys wanna help me write some jokes? App called pitch.com. Write jokes, get paid by funny or die. Let's see. Worst things to tell a stranger in the bathroom. Oh, this is easy. First joke, does that come in men's? Does that come in men's sizes? Check mark. Let's see. Do you mind holding this? Do you mind? Do you mind holding this real quick? Do you mind holding this real quick? Something stupid about pubes. It's gotta be an easy pube joke in there, right? Oh, Sean's coming back. Done enough of that. They think we're either insane. I went in and got the seasoning. It's apparently pretty spicy. And then this is um, spicy mayo. Oh, sweet. I know that's not normally crust, something you- Crust though. I'm about to crust Yeah, it. yeah, yeah. So that'll be good. Good job. Thank you. Take this pizza pie. Okay. This. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh-oh. We it's so some, greasy. We got some cheese stick. Grease my face up, dude. You think I want pizza to be all lean and sh? Why don't you grab that bag? And this bag? Yeah, because you're gonna want. Dude, that's how I want it. Yeah, this dude. Is, if you're looking for a healthy pizza, stop watching our channel. We don't eat healthy pizza. So here's my. Although we might soon. I got an email for us oh, for nice. a place that does a vegan deep dish. So here's the, my immediate thought. This is not something that visually you're gonna be like, that's the most different kind of pizza I've ever seen. Right. It's just gonna be good. Yep. It's quick. Yep. And in Chicago, if it's cheap, good, and quick, you're done here. Crust looks weird to me. Not in a bad way, but it look. That's the only. That looks different. Everything it looks else, like uh, Little Caesars breadsticks. Yeah, it kind of does. So he was three. Six. We got a surprise pizza, boys! Holy shit, I didn't even, how did I not notice that? Damn, I would've taken There's just some... a whole nother piece down here. Wow, it's a buck 99 a slice, too? Yeah, for cheese. Jesus, that's great. I know, in Chicago, if you can find a slice place for a dollar something, less than four dollars, that's pretty damn good. It smells really good, by the way. Oh boy, is my mouth watering. You're gonna wanna put a big dollar for that tangy red. Spice it up, dude. I bet it's like cayenne pepper and like red pepper. Well, now we each get a slice and a half. This place is a... Oh, well, that part's gonna be really fun. It smells good. Damn good. Oh, let's do this. What have I said about knocking? Hmm? 
Always knock. Whoa. Sorry, sir. This is pizza and poke's pepperoni slice. Cheers. Mm. I love New York style. Thinner the better, dude. So thin. Look at this. Mm hmm. I love it. How great does that look? Good pepperonis. This is true New York style. This is how I like it. You can it. fold it like this. Mm hmm. Look how thin this is. That is so razor thin. Man. Holy crap, is this good. Hell of a price, too. Also, that seasoning is great. I'm so glad you decided to drive back up here and me run in there. Mm. Dude, Big and Little's guys. You guys. They do it right. They do it so right. Two bucks for a really thin slice. That's starting to feel like New York City, baby. Mm-hmm. You know what we gotta go back to Big and Little's for? Which I'm not even a huge fan of this. Anything on the fish. Their fish I, is stupid, and it looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. It would look stunning on camera. It would. And it's seriously unbelievable that you can get like that quality of fish at what looks like a walk, like a counter, or you walk up counter place. Like, uh-huh. It's insane. Their menu is so diverse and nothing on it lacks flavor. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. What is this? This is like a spicy mayonnaise? Is that what mm -hmm. you said? Spicy mayo. Oh, that's really good. Is it? Oh, I got good spice too. Oh, dude, this is really good. If brown. you are on the brown line or the purple line, get off of diversity and get yourself a $2 slice. I was telling Sean too. You'll make the next train. When I moved to Chicago, this was my late night spot. This building used to be a place called Fogo that did pizzas by a slice. They shut down. Mexican food place went in there. Now I'm so happy it's back to pizza. And I live so close to this. I live like. Yeah, five minute walk. Yeah. I'm jealous. And they're open till two. I asked when we were in there what time they closed on the weekend. So I'm about to be doing some late night stops here. Pizza and poke. Please open a location in the West Loop. Thank you. Sincerely, Sean. That was my go to after second city stop. So I would brown line it and I'll take an A through E Monday nights, get off the brown line, and then I walk, grab a slice or two and head back and kind of just look at me with shame, you know? Yeah. Dude, this sauce is addicting. This spicy. It's uh, dude, it's the you do not get it without that spice. This is really good. Well, this spicy mayonnaise, too. Oh yeah, both of it. Yeah, both of them are. God, unreal. we love spicy food. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Slice, dude. You getting a good you're getting some good cutting techniques. Yeah, You've been boy. watching me. I've been watching you for a year. Oh boy. It only took us 10,000 subscribers and 10 pounds of body fat. <laughs> Look at that. Thank you, sir. Look at it, it's like you can share good. one. If you only want a little bit, these people are looking at us like, is this your job? Like, yeah. <laughs> these guys have real jobs. What's a real job? When people ask us that, like, when you work for somebody else. Any, oh, okay. So if you work for another person, the man, mm -hmm. as they say, that's a real job. I think so. So if you make money off of something you're passionate about and you're the boss, that's not a job. Exactly. Cool. <laughs> What a sad world. Dude, never in my life would I ever be like, yeah, put some mayonnaise on that pizza. Guess what? Today I did it. Today I loved it. So that guy watching us eat, the guy that served us, probably freaked out. The guy that served us, you were an incredible human. Super nice. American hero. Yeah, if this gets in front of Big and Little's eyes, you're doing good hiring too. That dude was super cool, super nice. Your pizza on Poke Stop on a Thursday around 4, 15-ish, mm -hmm. knocked it out of the park, bro. And I don't know if this is true. This could just be my negative attitude towards people in general, but I don't usually see people being like, like people are pretty, not rude, but they're just not excited ever about their jobs when we order like when I do anything right but that guy was like he just had a lot he's like hey man I really like your shirt like I don't hear that from strangers yeah that's my pizza shirt you know yeah man tell you what this is I, so good I don't know I didn't think it was gonna be this good yeah like I knew it was gonna be good it's big and little but come on person trying to die I just oh I do this this is a crosswalk bitch learn the law this is a crosswalk bitch learn the law mm -hmm. I take these way too aggressively Wipe your face before you rate the space. And you know me, I don't like, to, like if I get over greased on certain things, I get disgusted, but this is the sweet spot. We gotta come back and do the poke soon. Yeah, dude, we gotta talk to the big and little guys. We need to get that hooked up. Out of five, I'm immediately thinking of, he was like, I love you, New York. He used to wear a clock around his neck. Oh, flavor play. I always get goosebumps and chills. But then I'm saying to myself, New York, stay strong because this is a man you will one day be with. Yeah. Out of five flavor flavors, because he goes, I love you, New York. I love you. He's talking about a woman named New yeah. York uh, from, yeah, the yeah, show. from the show. Out of five flavor flavors, how many flavor flavor flavors do you give the pepperoni and cheese pizza from Pizza and Poke? Do I have to account for the fact that he's basically one third the size of a human? Like, do I have to give triple the score to so give it a five? For, for today, yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> you have to, if it's a perfect score, you have to give a 15 flavor flame. Then flavor. that was a 15, that was 15 flavor Fif flames, 15 which was flavor. five regular humans. <laughs> yeah. He's a very small individual, but that was seriously so freaking amazing. Easy five, that's a five plus. Yeah, it just, you can't deny taste, you guys, I'm telling you. Uh -huh. When it tastes, when it makes you crave more and can't wait to the time you come, like, that's just a perfect score. That's what, what the food is meant to do. 15 Flavor Flaves. Flavor Flav, dude, one of the all-time great roasts. There's gotta be oh, some right? sick roast clips you yeah. can find oh, out there. for sure. Flavor Flav is responsible for more homeless black children than Hurricane Katrina. <laughs> Quick shout out to our uh, new Patreon donators. Hell yeah. A gentleman by the name of Brian Nanfito, maybe? Love I don't know. Name Nanfito. Super awesome name. Awesome guy. Amazing female human being, Jen Anderson. And this is a big one. Nolan freaking Adams. He was our 100th century mark Patreon donator. Hell yeah, dude. Which is super freaking awesome. 100 of you guys. Man, oh man. That's so many people. That's so great, and I love it, and we love all you guys. And if you guys want to donate, if you don't, buck a month, that's all it takes. And a lot of our Patreons financially help us out because they can't get enough of Corey yelling that specific phrase. Eat it, bitch, it's always good. Thank you guys for watching another 4 o'clock in the afternoon nighttime Man, episode Jesus here in Chicago. We are number 6 with Cheese, and every single weekday, Monday through Friday, we put out a new video. Even on holidays. That's right, if it's Memorial Day, guess what? You're still getting a video, if, buddy! If it's Christmas, it's a Monday, which it is. We're working on Monday! Hey, we're doing it. Open my present, the world. <laughs> Subscribe, like this video, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. We're everywhere. We want to talk do to it, you! Do it, do it! Someday, Corey, someday soon, this is about to be a TV show. I oh, feel I it. hope, I feel I it. hope! I feel it. New Year's resolution, work harder! <laughs> we do.